that's how locationally savvy I am. <laughs> So I, I get lost very easily. Um, as y'all know, I have a little bit of an addiction to things like Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off to shop on uh, Facebook a little bit. So what I happened to find on Facebook today in this area, as I was traveling three hours away from home, I figured, check it out. Why not? So I happened to find <clears throat> this beautiful patio table it's a beautiful table you'll you'll just have to see it but the lady was so kind she answered me and she said you know uh, I paid her on PayPal and she said I won't be home but I'm gonna leave it on my uh, front porch you know right here in the front she said just come and collect it um, not the chairs the chairs are staying they don't come with the deal but the table I just thought when I saw it I was like wouldn't that make such a great table for my potage garden I just I see that table somewhere in my garden I think it has a place so I paid for it uh, so now we're swinging by here to pick it up and load it in the back of the truck before we head home so yeah we're gonna do this you ready Here, can you hold the camera? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go out of the subdivision to let him potty. That is very good. Because if uh, this, I paid this lady to come and get this thing and she uh, finds out I'll let my goat poop in her yard, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> so here's the table, guys. So I know, right? Isn't this lovely? Do y'all like it? Oh, yeah, it's heavy. Now this is like iron. Yeah, yeah. she said this is iron and um, I forgot what she said this is made out of, but it's like, it's solid, y'all. It's it's heavy. It's sturdy. And just this is amazing. It feels great and it's beautiful. You gonna help me load it? We can do this, guys. We're strong. We, we got this. Yeah, just finish eating and then we'll load it. Okay, my good strong girls have helped me get it loaded. All right. <laughs> Thank you. We got it upside down so it won't fall out or flip out done all right back all in the right. truck we go we're gonna stop and give henry a potty break at a gas station or something on the way home and then i get to show wes what i brought home for my protege and i think he's gonna be okay with it i think he's gonna make him happy when he sees it we shall see i don't bring home random things a lot do i henry oh don't give me that look no don't look at me like that <laughs> hey free tell the truth <laughs> Henry's getting way too used to car rides, y'all. This goat, I'm telling you, he's nothing but a big dog. Baby, I told you, you can get out and go potty. We're at the gas station. Do you want to go potty? No? Huh? You want to go potty? No? No outside go potty? No. Nope. I opened the door of the truck and I showed him his leash and he just kind of, hmm, mm-mm. Just turned his little nose up and mm -mm. What can you do? You're a spoiled baby, yes you are. You're like a big old spoiled dog. Yeah, I love me some Henry. Oh, he's gotten way too used to these car rides, y'all. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to load him up and take him with me to the store and stuff. <laughs> he's so used to car rides now. <laughs> poor, poor baby, y'all. I oh, know, you want to be home with your family and your herd, yeah. We're going to take you back to your ladies and Marshmallow and Gimli. Yeah, you miss your family. I get it. We're going home, bud. We're going home. Be there soon, baby. Okay, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I I'm. I think I've, I've done it again. I know, I know, I know what y'all are going to say. I know. And I see that look on your face. <laughs> I get it. I know. I have a problem. I really do. But, yeah, I mean, y'all don't understand, though. Y'all don't understand. This baby was laid out on the on the ground at the gas station, laid on its side. I didn't know if it was dead or just sleeping. Turns out, she was dead. Turns out she was sleeping in the sunshine. But this is what I saw. She's so pretty. <laughs> and she's a sweetheart, too. Oh. She's so sweet. So soft, very friendly, very peaceful. She's like a family dog. dog. That, yeah. That's what she is. She's a family dog. Sits and plays fetch. Maybe she, maybe she was previously owned, but the people at the gas station said she showed up three weeks ago and she's a stray and they've been feeding her. She's a stray. 
Yeah, but the all, the, all, the gas they've, station people all they've been her. feeding her is chicken. Chicken, chicken and b- dog treats. And dog biscuits. Yeah. Which is good. That's better than nothing. Yeah, it, she has gotten um, to eat, but she needs some dog food. And Wes is going to kill me. He's going to kill me. We're dead. We are so We are so dead. Sure this didn't happen. And um, we failed miserably at our mission. Well, y'all don't understand. It's, it's so sweet. It's so oh, sweet. I understand. All right. I understand what's going to happen to me it's when I tell so my sweet. husband about this. Yeah. <laughs> so now I have to get this goat home, get these kids home, and try to pacify my husband as much as I possibly can. <laughs> and try to smooth this over. Y'all, y'all pray for me. Pray for me. This is getting out of control. This is becoming a problem. It's becoming a real problem. I leave my house and they find me. They do, do they not? Do they Literally, not? They a cup find last, me. last time finding, we were taking the yeah. goat, last time we were taking goat, we I'm saw a dog for and a cat. Yeah, I'm not actively looking for strays. It's like they're finding And me. then we saw a dog earlier too. Earlier today, but it wouldn't come. And, and I know it's a choice. Dog. I get it. It's a choice. It's a choice whether or not to, to pick the dog up and take it home. But it it's a choice. But I, my heart can't, my heart can't say no, y'all. I just, um, it's, it's something I can't, I've, I've come to terms with that. I can't say no. I'm not, I'm not a person that's willing to walk away and just, oh, well, good luck. I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, the story of the table and the dog just got a lot more interesting. So my dear, sweet husband that loves me so much, he, uh, he called me because he, he checks sometimes when I've been gone longer than I should. And he checks my location and he called me because he saw that my location wasn't where it was supposed to be and he called and said uh honey did you know that you're way off course you're going in the complete opposite direction of home and um you're now still about three and a half hours away from home even though you've been traveling for like two hours (laughs) oh my gosh and as usual he was right and uh, I, for some reason, had typed in the right number, you know, of our address, but I didn't pay attention to the city that it pulled up in Alabama. So I was going to our address, our highway number in a different city, opposite direction of home. Yeah, that's how locationally savvy I am. <laughs> so I, I get lost very easily. Um, I try to follow technology. I try to follow a GPS. I, I try to live in the modern world, but... It's very hard for me. I'm very old school, old fashioned. I just, I need to know where I'm going. I need to know it well, like a, like a beaten path that I have traveled a million times or else I can't get there. If I've never been there before, I'm going to get lost. So my sweet husband didn't want us to be lost forever. So he called and, and rescued us and then straightened us out and got a, got everything straightened out. So now we're on the right GPS path home, but it's going to be another three and a half hours. So now we're gonna have more hours in the truck with the puppy dog and that I think we have named Biscuit. Yeah, it's yeah. she's been living it's on biscuits. chicken and biscuits. It's been living biscuit on chicken dog. and biscuits. Been living on these dog biscuits that these people at the gas station. <laughs> that these people at the gas station were so sweet to give us and send home with us uh, because they wanted the little stray dog to have her biscuits that they had provided yeah. for her. So we brought your biscuits with you, Biscuit. So um, that was nice. We're an odd bunch. But we, we are, are a dog and a goat. Never a dull moment. Traveling. It's a zoo in this truck. And if I stay out much longer from my house, I'm going to run into another stray animal. I know it. I've yeah. got to get home, y'all. Oh, but this is frustrating for me. And, you know, we, we thought we were 19 minutes Three away. Three more hours. 19 minutes away. But no. No. Three more hours, y'all. I'm going to yeah. be tired of driving. I'm going to be so tired of this. We're all going to need sleep. I'm going to need some sleep. I got up and, at 5 a.m. this morning, y'all. And we still have the dog. I still have the dog to show um, my husband and deal with when we get home. Still got to introduce him to Biscuit. <laughs> that may not go well. I don't know. I'm going to beg his forgiveness. He loves me. He, he hopefully won't you know, uh, murder me. <laughs> it's going to um, be rough. <laughs> yeah. So I would like to take this moment to just talk about that, if you will. I just want to take a minute. I'm going to hand the phone to Avery so you can film me, Avery, so I can actually drive. Because, folks, I got three and a half hours, and I need to get on the road. But I was thinking about this. The story of the dog and the table, the story just got a lot better, right? The story just got a lot more interesting, got a lot more fascinating, in my opinion. 
so that just adds to the the flavor of the story that just adds to the depth of it because one day one day this will be funny and one day I'll be talking to somebody about how we got biscuit and it's gonna be a story to tell because <laughs> we this, it's gonna be you know we traveled out of our way out of our normal route and path home 30 minutes away just to get a table that I'm sure it's gonna tell a story too when somebody asks, oh, I love this table, how'd you get it? There's a story behind it there. And I'm gonna tell them how I went off, off route just on a whim just to get this table I found on Facebook. And because I did that, because I did that, I happened to pass by this little dinky gas station middle of nowhere, happened to pass by this random gas station just to potty a goat, to potty a goat and give my kids some, some uh, time to stretch their legs and stuff. And then saw Biscuit <laughs> laying at the gas station. That's where we met Biscuit. Quarter mile turn left, is that what it said? Yeah. Okay. All right, quarter mile we will turn left. Yeah, down. it's the table, the goat, and the dog. Right, so that's, I just wanted to talk to y'all about that because do y'all ever have those things? puppy Biscuit stories? Yeah. Do this is one do, of them. Yeah, do y'all ever have stories that kind of it went wrong at the time and it was horrible at the time, but it turned out into a, like a great story. Like that's gonna be worth telling. That's gonna be something that somebody's gonna ask about one day and you're gonna get to retell the whole story. And um, and it's gonna, it kind of leaves like a legacy behind it. So um, I'm just paying attention to the GPS too guys, sorry. So that's, you know, gonna be a story of Biscuit and a story of the table. And that's gonna, you know, just be part of our, our farm and part of our family. So that's gonna give it some, you know, some funness, <laughs> if that's a word. That's gonna give it fun and flavor. I like it. So don't discount things that seem awful at the time. <clears throat> and they seem like this is a bunch of crap and I'm never gonna do this again. There's a reason for everything. There is. There's a good reason for it. Just follow it. Just go with it. May seem rough. May seem miserable. You might have to drive three and a half more hours. Might be rough. But it's going to be worth it. I promise you it's going to work out. So I like it. I like how this turned out. I'm positive about this. I think that was definitely meant to be. And I think it's funny, y'all. And y'all can laugh at me. I think it's funny that I freaking got lost and went in the wrong direction. <laughs> Opposite of my house. Um. And it's going to be a very, very long day in the truck, y'all. But, yeah, laugh at me, cry with me, pray for me. Bear, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Biscuit. Um, bear with me, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be an adventure, just like everything.